Extra Minutes. So, Dr. Grupp, tell me about Emily. So, Emily was the first patient that we treated with this new kind of therapy, which basically involved uh, genetically engineering her T cells. T cells are cells of the immune system that can potentially attack cancer cells. And so, we genetically engineered her T cells to attack her cancer. Now, she was a little girl who had a disease called ALL, a kind of leukemia, which is the most common kind of childhood cancer. She had been treated with chemotherapy initially. She had gone into a remission, but unfortunately the remission had not lasted very long. She had relapsed, her cancer had come back, and then she had relapsed again. At that point, unfortunately, chemotherapy wasn't working for her anymore. So there was no treatment available for her at that point. And this was the last chance? This was absolutely her last chance. Now, the virus you used is the family of HIV, but it's not HIV. Correct. Um, essentially, what we want to do is we want to take T cells from the patient. We want to have those T cells attack cancer cells. The way we do that is we have to put a new gene into the T cells. And in order to put that new gene in, we use a modified form of the HIV virus. The uh, virus can no longer cause disease. It's impossible to catch HIV. And we don't actually put the virus in the patient. We just expose the T cells to the virus. So the patient gets the T cells. The virus does not go into the patient. But the it is a form of the HIV virus. So you take the virus, mix it in a sort of cocktail with a T cell, and then it hunts down the leukemia. That's exactly right. The, the uh, virus puts the gene in the T cells. The gene causes the T cells to change, to express this new protein, and the protein does the targeting. How did you feel when you saw what the treatment did for Emily? Um, I was absolutely astonished. Um, I mean, it was at her response to this, you know, she came into this treatment with uh, most of her bone marrow replaced by leukemia cells. Uh, it was clear that nothing was going to work from her from a standard treatment s uh, standpoint. And then three weeks after we gave these T cells, we saw that she was in a complete remission and she's been there ever since. It was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Now, clearly you've broken through, but is it incremental? Is is it going to lead to similar breakthroughs in other cancers? We are, we and other groups as well, are trying to figure out how to retask these T cells to go after other cancers. Every cancer is going to be different. Every target is going to be different. And some cancers uh, are, have appropriate targets and some don't. But for cancers with appropriate targets, the next step is to see, can we just do this in leukemia or can we do it in other kinds of cancer? It's so exciting though. Do you feel you're on the edge of, of, of a breakthrough in cancer treatment? I believe that this may actually be revolutionary in cancer therapy, but we have to prove it. So we, I believe it may be, but in order to do that, we have to show that this happens successfully at multiple hospitals, which we're in the process of doing, and we have to show that it can work in other kinds of cancer.